Since the new coronavirus began infecting people last winter in China, scientists have been working nonstop to try to figure out how it spreads. They've learned a lot, but one of the mysteries they're still trying to untangle is where this virus came from in the first place. And for that, scientific evidence points overwhelmingly to wildlife. Zoonotic disease is on the rise as interactions between humans and wildlife increase. Food and agriculture practices, landscape development, wildlife and livestock trade, all these things put humans in closer contact with animals, especially in densely populated areas. And this creates the perfect conditions for zoonotic spillover, for animal-borne diseases to jump to humans. The CDC, the leading public health organization in the United States, estimates that six out of 10 infectious diseases in people come from animals. And with this coronavirus, the most likely origin point is bats. These winged mammals have been natural reservoirs for the rabies virus, the Marburg virus, the Hendra and Nipah viruses. The Ebola virus outbreak in West Africa was traced to a bat colony. The 2003 SARS outbreak originated in bats, as do other coronaviruses. Now, with this coronavirus, scientists can't say for sure that it came from bats alone. The virus shares a 96% genetic similarity to coronaviruses that have been found in bats. 96% sounds close, but... That 4% difference is actually a, a pretty wide distance in evolutionary time. It, it could be even decades. That extra 4% suggests the virus may not have evolved from bats alone, but has some viral material from another animal mixed in, which acted as an intermediate host, ultimately transmitting the virus to humans through feces, an animal bite, or wild meat consumed by a human. We just don't know for sure. One possible intermediate host could be pangolins. Scientists have found a genetic similarity between this coronavirus and coronaviruses found in these scaly anteaters, which are vulnerable to illegal wildlife trade. But until scientists have more genetic evidence, this theory about the role of an intermediate host is all hypothetical. Initially, researchers looked for clues about the virus's origin at the Hunan Seafood Wholesale Market in Wuhan. The market was connected to many of the early infections in China, but there is not enough evidence to prove that is where the virus jumped from animals to humans. One thing scientists do agree on is that there is little chance this virus was released as the result of a laboratory accident in China or elsewhere, unless evidence comes out. So we don't have a definitive answer on the chain of transmission from bats to humans, and it may take years to figure out. In fact, it took virus hunters over a decade to track down the true origin of the 2003 outbreak of SARS to horseshoe bats in a cave in the Yunnan province of China. Virus hunters had to sample feces, urine, and blood from thousands of bats across the country to find a genetic match. Hunting viruses is a time-consuming and expensive endeavor. And while technology has improved in the last 17 years, there still aren't many shortcuts to the detective work of tracing a virus to its source. 